This video reveals anatomy of the human temporal bone reconstructed from histologic sections. It is made from data sets from the downloadable 3D model of the human temporal bone of the Eaton Peabody Lab at the Massachusetts Eye and Ear Infirmary. We are looking at the endosteal perilymph containing space of a right labyrinth. In magenta, we see the endolymph containing membranous labyrinth. We see the lateral semicircular canal, posterior semicircular canal, and the truncated superior semicircular canal, as well as the vestibule and the cochlear spiral. We now see the membranous labyrinth itself with its cochlear duct, saccule, utriculosaccular duct, utricle, and the lateral, superior, and posterior semicircular ducts. Each semicircular duct has an ampulla, which has a crista. The five vestibular organs are the macula of the saccule, the macula of the utricle, and the cristae of the superior, lateral, and posterior canals. The innervation of these organs is from the superior and inferior vestibular nerves. The superior vestibular nerve innervates the crista of the superior and lateral canals, the macula of the utricle, and the superior one-third of the macula of the saccule. The inferior vestibular nerve interfaces the inferior two-thirds of the macula of the saccule and the crista of the posterior semicircular canal via the singular nerve. The cochlear duct is joined to the membranous labyrinth via ductus reunions. This posterior view of the labyrinth demonstrates the utriculosaccular duct and the three portions of the endolymphatic system, the endolymphatic sinus, the endolymphatic duct, and the endolymphatic sac. The common cruise, shown here, is the confluence of the posterior and superior semicircular ducts. Also shown here is the infundibulum of the posterior canal. This is a brief segment of membranous duct connecting the ampulla of the posterior canal to the utricle. It is the lowest point in the vestibular labyrinth. Also shown here is the undersurface of the cochlear duct, which is the basilar membrane. The facial nerve can be seen with its meatal, labyrinthine, geniculate, tympanic, and vertical segments. Note the toroidal shape of each semicircular duct. These bent bicycle tire shapes increase the angular sensitivity of the ducts to angular motion.